Hey, everybody. Yeah, why the fuck did I start that like Chaya Conroy? Even when I said that, I was like, the fuck am I doing? It's like, hello there, guys. I am Carlito NSP. Welcome back to Let's Play Spoiro the Dragon. In the last part, I was starting to talk about the theory of. Well, I, I don't even know what it's called. Um. Thermal... It, it's- well, it's more the theory of, like, how the, uh, how, of how energy, uh, transfers from, from one thing to another, and when... And the thing is, a lot of materials can absorb heat, or, like, release heat a lot faster than other materials. For example, steel. Like, a lot of times you'll go into, like, a classroom, and you'll feel, like, the steel... Or, like, you'll touch the steel on a desk or whatever. And it's been at room temperature all day, so it... So, when you go to touch it, it's like, oh, it feels cold. So you're thinking, oh, it's less than room temperature. No, it's not. It's that your skin is, like, at body temperature. So, when you're touching it, that... What you're feeling isn't the... Like, how cold it is. It's how much heat it's taking away from your fingertips. Alright, so that's kind of a... What, what the hell? Why did I... What did I, What was in there? Like, my character bounced off. Asher. Thank you for releasing me. <laughs> Alright. Uh, but yeah, that's sort of the thing. Like, uh, what you feel isn't your... Isn't how cold it is, it's your fingers getting colder. If you will. Hmm. I gotta wonder how many of you guys actually know where that if you will is from. If you will is just something that Dusty Road used to say a lot. So a lot of people just make fun of him because of that. If you will, baby. So off the cliff! Seal armor. Bad! It's not in season, bro. All right. So. Oh god, this. Oh, this was obnoxious. This, like I try to position myself in pl places where I'm not going to get hurt. Always tricky. And I think you can like I can't remember if you could, but I remember at one point I accidentally I was at an angle where the jewel fell off the entire structure, but I can't. Uh, I don't know if I can still do that. Uh, well, not that I would want to do that on purpose. And I was just like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna have to kill myself to get the jewel to reset to reset it." Don't reset. All right. And uh, don't miss, cause uh, yeah, unhappy landing. It's an in it's pretty much an insta kill because there's no way out of it. I mean, it's not Sonic the Hedgehog 2 level where you can be immortal and touch it and then you can, you'll have to wait 10,000 years. But anyway, it looks like we've underrepresented it now thanks to Ragnar. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Ready for what? It's actually a good question. What the hell were they prepared for? Or thought he was prepared, uh, not prepared for? I mean, after all... Nasty Nork um, surprised the hell out of them. Or did he? Was this all staged? <gasps> well, a lot of extra lives if you need them. I don't. So I will move on. I think there are ways to get over there. Um, well, I know the one way to get over there is like from the beginning of the game. Like this is a really easy shortcut to the end, but... That sort of defeats the purpose of entering the stage, so obviously I didn't go through it. But yes, I entered the ice cavern. Uh, I think there's only two stages left. Yep. The flying stage and the boss. The boss, as I said, is Dr. Magnar. Or Shemp. Close enough. I was totally only a couple of vowels off. Alright. But now it's time for the flight area. These are always rather chilling, so I sort of like that I'm doing this almost last. Alright. Uh, how are you guys uh, liking the structure I'm trying to pull off where I actually separate things into parts? Because uh, I think it kind of fits. Because is it really worth me, like, even remotely talking about 
uh, about like, oh, uh, like welcome back if I'm either way, like cutting in the middle of uh, the takes or whatever. Well, I, I say take like I do multiple of these, which I don't. It's like first take, if, if it's if it's enjoyable, then whatever. You know, if it's enjoyable or not, whatever. Because the thing is, I never know what what's enjoyable and what isn't until you just uh, go back and see it. Self, of course. And, and of course, you you are either your worst or your best critic. Because you know, you'll never know what's truly wrong with what you're doing because you're not your audience. Your audience is your audience. Obviously. Shit. Ah, sort of a trouble about this one is it's hard to not miss one of these. Shit. And it's really difficult to gauge your distance. I should have been doing two at once. Come on. Yes! One second left. One second left, all in one, first try, baby. Woo, 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 you know it. God, they've missed you, Zack Ryder. All right, now I'm returning home into a parade of happiness and blue water. My God, what will they come up with next? Confronting Dr. Shemp, who I have never met and I don't even know what the fuck he looks like. I remember that he liked to walk, to hop around a lot though, and scream. Wait, was this the voodoo doctor? I think he was. Rather weird that something that has a Spanish, well, actually, the themes have been kind of wildly out there with this one. Uh, you got sort of the ideals of, or the image of like, kind of, the kind of stereotype of the big uh, black woman. Except she's not black. Uh, you've got Aztec warrior style. Uh, uh, well, actually, that's what I think when I see those armor guys, like Aztec warrior sty style stuff. Even though I'm pretty sure they didn't actually use armor. Uh, what was some other one? Yeah, this is all over the place. Obviously, uh, th th we got like Spanish warriors or like Spanish soldiers, I should say. Not sure. This is this is a widely anachronistic time period and setting. I mean, the theme has been sort of deserty, but obviously, we just came out of an ice cave, or we came out of two things—an ice cave and a, a river area. And this is starting to show some like Peruvian architecture, or at least stuff I think is Peruvian. And like one entire spire, only there to hold one jewel, but it's worth twenty-five solid jewels. So it shows what I know. Alright. It's like, ah, no one will ever find it here, even though it sparkles and it's on something that's on a plateau. Alright. This guy, I think this guy's entire description of this doctor character can be described as he's fucking insane. Tronto, that's interesting. This guy thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I'll tell you one thing, he should watch his back. So yeah, I'm assuming that's the hint, you should, you should, you should, uh, roast his ass. Of course. And of course, Spyro has a disapproving look of dissatisfaction. Oh, whoa, okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your dying body. Oh god, that's an out of context quote. But yes, thank god for her dying body, because then... I would have died. And here's the only big character who is not an icy, icy area. But, because this. I can't remember. Fuck, I forgot all of his. I forgot all of his tactics. Whoa, whoa. So, yeah, quite simple. You get three chances uh, inadvertently. I mean, obviously you don't. You don't obviously get three chances. Good God, was that was his pelvis just sky high in that? It's weird for me to notice that, but yeah, it was there. Once you notice it, you can't unsee it. Or who knows? I'm I'm not looking over the editing. 
If I am, I'm probably gonna like do a up close, like super super zoomed in, just in your face sort of screen cap on the screen or something. Who knows? I, I don't know if I'm that annoying. No! 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 I can make it! No, I couldn't. Shit. Oh, Shemp isn't still alive. No, he's, he's dead. Alright, I would have been disturbed again by his uh, protruding pelvis. Alright. Jeez, I need to stop charging. This is- this- I remember this was my uh, big fault of the game that- Or no, my- my fault when I played this game is that I would be a little impatient with explore with exploring and just try to rush through everything. All right, off to a clean three thousand. But now we're moving on to the next area. So yeah, these guys who are, are pilots. Gotta wonder if hot air balloons are really the best way to do this. Can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure. Hop aboard for the magic craft of the world. I remember this is like the world I always thought was the most memorable in the game. But who knows? Magic crafters. With wizards. And happiness. But also sadness. But mostly happiness. Well, sometimes. It depends on how happy certain people are. Ah, oh, yeah. I forgot about this music. Yeah, that takes me back. Yeah, this is, I always like this world because it just had this sense of un unworldliness to it. Cosmos! Where's Welcome Wanda? Welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. Well, you're a rather demanding little motherfucker, ain't you? He's like a 10 pound dragon and it says, oh yeah, I want you to do all these things for me. Come on, chop chop. <laughs> they got Merlin dragons here. They're having a good time laughing at you. Oh my God, I just killed him with this. All right. So I believe we're coming across my, actually no, I have plenty of time. All right. I, I, I have sort of an artificially imposed time limit on myself just so like episodes don't get absurdly long I know some people may say like I'm um, like cheating content or something But my point with this is more just that you can watch it in one sitting as a put and like, without taking up that much time um, And that's sort of my idea behind just that's a, even my idea behind one part a day uploads because I don't want to like overwhelm people with too many videos. This one is so weird. There's no structure, so there's nothing that you can know to avoid, and somehow I still did it in seconds. I, 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 I may be the second coming. I, I'm, I'm warning you all, but if you see me in real life, you might explode because I, I just do these things and I don't even realize it. Did I really just compare myself to Jesus? That is fucked up. Right. Jesus! Gotta, yeah, I gotta get one of those in in every let's play. Right, that wasn't enough. All right, wait, 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 wait. Uh, hold on. If I'm nearing the part, this part of the episode. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, this mechanic is really cool. I like this one. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent. Go ahead, try it. Excellent! Alright. If I'm going to end this episode... Well, I'm not going to end this episode yet. I'm going to explore this little cove! Right, did I get the key yet? Nope! I think it's later on. Alright. So now, I will attack them! And they laugh at you in your face. So now you are dissatisfied. And now you come up here to ponder your meaning in life, to look at the snowy mountains, 
just realize how insignificant you truly are in this world. So, while you do that, I shall end this video. So next time on Let's Play Spyro the Dragon, I will run down these stairs, this, uh, these arrows, to discover my meaning in life. Before then, I must say the following. JESUS!